Hello everyone. Good evening. Rose here. Tonight I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty and Sala's couple vlog, which they did at the mall. They went to the mall and they watched a movie and it was an entire mess. It was, it was an entire mess. I sat and I watched the video and then I went to Erie Pepperoni's live stream where she was reacting to it, watched it again. And I got to tell you, I, my neck is sore and my eyes are sore from my eyes rolling in the back of my head and me shaking my head so much, just seeing everything that Foodie was doing in this video. And I got a lot to say. So I'm going to react to this and I welcome all of you to join me. And so let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see and hear everything. So there's Foodie. So we're starting a few minutes in for the video because the beginning part of the video, the first minute is music. And for those who are not aware, Sala is doing the same thing now that Natter did. He recently struck a channel with a strike. You know, I got thoughts on that. So when Foodie was with Natter, she gassed him up and she put the battery in the back for him to go after reaction channels. Foodie seems to have a habit of gathering accomplices, if you will, to her. And she'll gas them up and put the battery in the back for them to go after the reaction channels because she's not going to do it herself. She would rather gather up helpers and accomplices to do the dirty work for her. Whoever gets around foodie, they become an accomplice and they become her cat's paw to do the dirty work. So if there's any backlash, if there's any negative repercussions, she's not going to get the brunt of it. Whoever is the accomplice, they will take the brunt of the backlash and she can be in her channel and saying it wasn't me so she's with sala now and she's teaching him a lot of her bad habits and she doesn't like the reaction channels so she's having him throw the strikes because if he's doing it that means her channel stays safe and there's no danger of losing her main income and if the accomplice, their channel gets taken away, oh, well, uh, it doesn't really affect her. So, yeah, Sala, I guess, is going after channels now for the copyright, which is just nonsense. But that's what's going on. But in the meantime, we've got this couple's vlog. And I've got so much to say watching this. I got so much to say. So let's just go ahead. And get started with this, y'all. Let's just do this thing. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's a Starbucks, though. You guys can only see the light circle, but you know. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pre-warn you guys that throughout this 16-minute video, Foodie is hyper fixated on food. Any place that's serving food. Little spoiler: she goes to the mall. And rather than show the different places in the mall that have nothing to do with food, every single freaking place that food is being served, she fixates on it. And she just stares at it and puts the camera on it. I mean, her whole focus was food. Really, I think she should change the name of the Sala and Chantal channel to the foodie loves food channel that would be much more appropriate because this entire trip in kuwait has been about food her talking about food her wanting food her mentioning food her eating food it's food 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 foodie just change the name to foodie loves food that would be a complete correct representation of the channel and what's going on and then maybe you might gather an audience that they are as fixated on food as you. But let's go on, y'all. Hello, guys. 
Today is a BEA beautiful day and we're gonna take you with us to a Coot Mall then and then we're gonna go see a horror movie. We're gonna go see Pray for the Devil and we're gonna bring you with us to see the mall and the movie. Yella, let's go. So yeah, the, the, the sad thing is, this is supposed to be a couple's vlog, but it really wasn't a couple's vlog because they're not really acting like a couple. They're acting like just two people that are not really into each other and they walk to the mall and Foodie just stops every five minutes to stare at any place serving food. So excited. Yella. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Kuwait are the palm trees. I love it. You know, I'm giggling on this palm tree thing because I grew up in Florida and there were palm trees everywhere. And anybody else who's not from Florida or any place with the palm trees, <laughs> I understand why palm trees might seem a little bit neat. It's something that you don't see every day, although I did. But Foodie's just like, oh, look at the palm tree. Love them. Hi. Hello. Oh, that's her mommy. <laughs> oh, they have food. Looks like they feed the cats here. Yeah, unlike you, you don't feed your cats. That's nice to know. That's a nice yacht. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're not doing the music. No, we're not. You're not going to throw a copyright strike at me, Sala. So suck on that. Okay, so they're going to the mall. I'm, I'm keeping this cut off with the sound until we're inside. Okay, are, are we talking now? No, no, we're not. Okay, back off. <laughs> you know, you guys aren't missing much. Foodie's been using the same ridiculous music for her vlogs you know like there's so much in the way of music that she could use for her vlogs but she keeps using the same music to the point where people are absolutely annoyed and they're begging her to change the music she'll use the same three songs you know what foodie i know now that you watch my videos because you kind of borrowed off my intro music, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Little tip for you, foodie, something you may or you may not know. There are different sites that if you pay a very small subscription fee, you get access to all different kinds of music, beautiful music. There's one YouTube channel that does ambiance videos that they uh, advertise that some of the music that they use and the sounds they use on the ambiance come from this one particular site. I don't know which one it is, sorry. But if you do a search, I'm sure you'll find it. So feel free to look and maybe you'll find some better music and you won't have to use other people's intro music. Okay, next. Oh, no, 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 still music. We're not doing it. So there's the mall. We're going into the mall. And Foodie, can I just say that, listen, I know you're at the mall, but I think it's absolutely rude and obnoxious that you insist on putting people on camera. There's all kinds of ways to avoid putting people on camera that are not consenting to be on camera. Okay, there, there's so many things you could do. So many angles you could get without putting other people on camera. Uh, copyrighted music is playing in some parts of the mall. Yeah, okay. You can still put good music with your video. So because I was on Erie's Pepperoni's live stream, as I was really watching this video with her, with the audience over there, you guys are going to notice a theme that anytime it comes to a place, where it's not food. Foodie won't go in the store. She won't give much attention to it. But as you're going to see with this video, like anytime food comes up, it's got her full attention. Nope, nope, we're not doing the music. Oops. Doggone it, Foodie. <laughs> That is a very pretty landscape. 
I will say that's a very pretty landscape. You know, and that's a very pretty picture. But I've been watching these couple vlogs between Foodie and Sala, and it just seems like it's the same theme with all of them. We're either her eating something or shots of the water or shots by the beach or at night. Y'all notice that? And something that uh, myself and Erie were talking last night, and I just, I noticed, and she noticed, that every single thing that Sala and Foodie have done together, it's something that someone would do with their child. It's not stuff that you would do with your wife, especially your new wife. Like taking her to the zoos, taking her to the aquarium museum. There was even one part in the museum where she grabbed a coloring book and she was coloring in the coloring book. And in this mall vlog, you know, they're walking around and walking past the food court and, you know, they see this arcade room and she wants to go in. You know, like, it, it's all like childlike stuff. And Foodie is 38 years old, and yet Sala is doing all these childish things with Foodie. It's just, it's really, really strange. The fountain's uh, still warming up, by the way. Oh, really? Are they gonna shoot water out after? Yeah, it's gonna be like, you know, about the dancing fountains? No. Oh. Yeah, it's starting now. Slowly. Yeah, see? Wow. It's really nice. Wow. Cool. The dancing fountain. So beautiful. No, no, we're not doing the music. No, we're not. <laughs> you're not. You're not throwing a copyright strike at me, Sala. No, sir. No, you're not. And Foodie's been saying, oh, I'm, I'm using non-copyrighted music. But I think, you know what, here's just a personal opinion. I think Foodie is having Sala uh, do some of the music for these vlogs just so he can be sneaky and shady and throw copyright strikes at the reaction channels that cover it. That That's just my thought. No, see, more of the music. No, we're not doing it. Very beautiful. <laughs> Cute. We should go in. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. You, if you're thinking about sitting on one of those foodie, it looks really small inside. You would not fit in those train cars. Forget it. <laughs> it's for kids, by the way. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm smaller than foodie, and I don't think I fit in there. So there's that. I see a man in there. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this amazing view. Gorgeous. I love it. She, she looks. Are you guys getting the same vibe off of her that I'm getting? Are you guys getting the vibe that she just, she does, her energy is very awkward. Like she's not comfortable being out in the public like she's just standing there like fidgeting around and awkward she just feels awkward so nice out here by the way you you know you know i just noticed something i just noticed something let me back it up so you guys can see it too hold on all right, so we're just gonna cut off the audio. So there's Foodie, all right, and, and look where she's standing. Look where she's standing. She's standing right next to that post, right? Okay, again, we're gonna turn, keep the audio off. She's standing next to that post and she won't move away from the post. It's almost like she was using that pillar, like, because she felt awkward and she just kept backing up against it. Almost, I know this is gonna sound really weird, but when you're someone and you're out in public and you're not confident with who you are, you're not sure of yourself, like you will 
lean up against a wall or building or something, you know, because you, you're looking for, for something, you're looking for strength. You're, you're looking for something solid because you're not sure of yourself. I know this sounds weird, but that's what she's doing. Like she is staying right next to that post, leaning up against it. And as you're going to see right now, like, so she's in the shot and look what she's doing. She's behind the post, almost in a, I don't want anybody to see me kind of gesture. Isn't that interesting? The woman who says that I'm so confident, like she, her, she is right up against that post, almost like she's hiding herself. She's very unsure of herself right now. By the way, you made it nice. <laughs> Dang it, I forgot about the doggone music. Sorry about that. So there's the dancing fountains. Yes, they're very, very nice. They've got similar ones like that in Vegas. Oh, <laughs> and here we go. It has started. Here we go. Listen, this is supposed to be a couple's vlog. But every couple's vlog, there's always food. Foodie, what is the difference between this content and the content on your channel? Because the content on your channel, you're hyper fixated on food. If you're doing a couple's channel, and this is a couple's vlog, there's a variety of things you can do as a couple that do not involve food. So you went from standing by the water to all of a sudden we're popping up in a restaurant and there's food right in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no continuity here. There's no explanation, nothing. <laughs> Gosh. Yummy. We're inside of a type of little co-op grocery store inside the mall. So this is what it would look like. By the way, foodie, again, it's rude to put people on camera that don't consent to it. Listen, you have YouTube editor. The YouTube editor in your YouTube studio on your channel has the blur tool. You can blur out their faces. I think that would be a decent thing to do. But if you're going to be in Kuwait and if you're going to do couples vlogs or any vlogs in Kuwait, if you're out in public, use the blur tool. When you go back and you're editing your videos, go back and use the blur tool for people, especially children. Look how many fish is here. <laughs> Y'all, so we were by the water and then we were in the grocery store and then we're back by the water again. It's just, what? How do we get here? <laughs> Your editing sucks, foodie. We're all coming for the bread. There's that, oh, the bread that floated. <laughs> they all want the bread. No, we're going for the bridge. All right, and that will connect us to the other part of the mall. Yeah. Here we are walking across the bridge. Okay, now y'all pay attention, please. So here's a clothing store. I would love to see what's in that clothing store. Looks like really nice clothing. Do you think Foodie's gonna stop there and show us the clothing? No, not at all. She's gonna pass right by it, watch. Clothing store. Now, see, she's not interested. <laughs> and and look where the camera pans next. The Hagen does. So let's just let's just skate right by the the clothing store. But if you see a place that has a, a label, a title that involves food, let's oh well, let's fixate on that. Okay, so she's got the music on again. I swear, half of her vlog is music. 
little break music things as half the vlog and her vlogs are not that long. It's mostly music and very little talking. Okay, but it's okay. I don't want to hear her talk anyway. <laughs> so we're walking around. See, there, there's another clothing store. Looks like they sell shades and stuff there. Is Foodie stopping to see what's in there? No. I don't know what this place is. I'm sorry, I can't read Arabic, but hold on a second. No, no, we're not doing the music, Foodie. We're not. So, oh, here we go. This place is serving food. Notice how she slows down. Like she's got to look. Y'all been watching my reacts for a minute. Y'all remember me saying that if you are a food addict, the worst thing you can do is put temptation too close to you. You can't do that. If you have an addiction for anything, if you are an addict for alcohol or drugs or food or anything of that nature, you cannot have your temptation too close to you because if it's too close, you will give in to temptation. So here's Foodie at the mall. And in a mall, there are all kinds of places to eat. There's all kinds of food to eat. And Sala is not letting her have everything she wants, which is something that she's not used to. She's like a spoiled brat. She's used to getting anything she wants anytime she wants it. But she's at the mall surrounded by all kinds of places for coffee, for drinks, for food, for desserts. And you know she's dying to hit every single place in the mall, or at least half a dozen and she can't because Sala's right there and Sala I want to have a word with you sir just a word this woman foodie beauty she's supposed to be your wife and you want her to lose 200 pounds were you just saying that for the camera or do you mean it because if you're a gentleman and I lose, use that term loosely because, you know, you're kind of acting like a jerk these days. But if you're any kind of a real husband and you know your wife has a problem with food, do you think it's a good idea to take her to a place where she's surrounded by food, where she can smell the food in the air? Do you think that's a good idea? You're over there buying her Diet Cokes. But that doesn't even make sense if you're buying her Diet Cokes and then taking her to a mall where she's surrounded by Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, the food court, all that. How is that helping her? How is that possibly helping her? You're telling her, I want you to lose 200 pounds, but let's go to the mall where you can smell the Cinnabons and pizza and and the food core and everything, and you can see it and it's right there and I know you're gonna want it. She doesn't have any kind of control at all. Taking her to the mall is the worst idea, sir. It is the worst. So unless this marriage is a sham and you were just saying, I want you to lose a bunch of weight for the camera, you know, you were playing your part if you're any kind of a real husband, you wouldn't be doing this to your wife, knowing she's got a problem with food. No, and, and where are they? Where are they? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Okay, so I guess they stopped at a place that served desserts. <sighs> foodie, foodie, foodie. You know, there are all kinds of places in the mall to eat. There's all kinds of food. I'm sure in that entire place, there must be somewhere where the food is halfway healthy. What does Foodie want? She wants dessert. And Foodie, didn't you say you don't have a sweet tooth? You said that, but what are you picking out to eat? Something sugary, something sweet. So if you don't have a sweet tooth, why do you wanna eat that stuff? I mean, people who don't have a sweet tooth don't eat sweets. If you got a sweet tooth, 
just say you have one. I mean, we all know you do. We saw you eat that cake in the dark before your trip to Kuwait. We've seen you eat an entire cake by yourself. We've seen all that. And now you're eating a crepe. I've never tried this. Yum. Tell me you're a food addict without telling me you're a food addict. Show me by going to the mall, and although there's all kinds of stores and all kinds of places to look at, the only things you care about are places that involve food. Too many options. Yum. See now, Sala, Sala, Sala. Sala, you want her to lose weight, but you're 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 scrolling through this menu where she's seeing all these sweets. Do you think that's gonna make her eat healthy? No, she seriously wants her temptation foods. So showing her all those desserts that's not that's not helping. Whoa. Check it out. <laughs> all right, what do you suggest? I suggest the crepe with the chocolate and the fruits, which is a cold dip and dip. And you know what? I want to know how this crepe works into her diet. He was talking about Chantal and her diet. How does this work into her diet, Sala? Because that's not a diet food and it doesn't look healthy. And a little side note for you, Chantal. You are from Canada. Canada has a whole different climate than Kuwait. Kuwait is more dry desert heat. That's something you're not used to. And you are big in size. So it's very easy for you to overheat. So you went from being in Canada to Kuwait, which is, like I said, dry desert heat. And if you make that transition, you should be hydrating correctly. Lots and lots of water. And you've been doing everything wrong while you've been in Kuwait. You've been overeating like crazy, which is your norm. But you've also been gravitating for whatever reason to salty food. The pickles and the olives and whatnot. Do you understand that if you are in a desert type climate, the dry heat that you're not used to. And if you're eating salty foods, you are dehydrating yourself even further and just drinking the soda ain't getting it done. You need water, lots and lots of water. You are stressing your body out. Oh, and coffee? especially really strong coffee, not good for your kidneys, not good for them at all. And all of us who are reactors, we've been noticing lately that you're looking really swollen, like bloated, swollen, possibly from all the salt intake, all the sodium. You need to calm down. You really need to calm the F down with the salt intake and the sweets. Good. The dip and dip crepe, yummy. Here it is, dip and dip crepe. <laughs> All right, y'all look at that. Look at the size of that thing. That thing is ridiculous. That looks like three quarters of a cake. When they said crepe, I thought it would be something small. Look how big that thing is. That's insane. That's for like for a table full of people. Seriously. And it's going to be shared between two people. So, Sala, you're going to put this in front of Chantal. Really? She's a food addict and you're going to put this in front of Chantal and expect her to only eat a little bit? It ain't going to happen, bro. Good choice. Thank you. <laughs> Yum. Let's dig in. You know what? I love the fact 
that Solon made sure to get the first bite. <laughs> like he, he knows she wants to tear into that crepe. And he's like, uh-uh, I'm going first because I know what's going to happen when you get a hold of it. So I'm going to get some before you get some. Smart man, Sala. Yalla. Mmm. Delicious. You have to try it right now. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Y'all read the caption. It says, we are going to dinner after the movie, so we shared this treat. Pardon me? Excuse me. That crepe looks like it could be dinner. I mean, it fills up the entire plate. So you're going to eat that huge crepe, both of you, and then have dinner, as well as the snacks of the movie? Where are you going to put all the food? Right. So there's Chantal. So Sala took a really small bite of the crepe. Look what she does. Like so chocolatey. Look, filling up her fork. That that is part of the Foodie Beauty brand. She doesn't know how to take small bites. She has to take really large bites. Like fill up the fork to the point where it's overflowing and stuff it all in her mouth. He's got a little small bite. Mm. Is it so good? The food with the chocolate and the Oh my God. <laughs> you know, and this is the missed opportunity right here. So they're supposed to be doing couple vlogs and they're including food in with the vlogs. This is a missed opportunity where he or her could have stopped a moment and really described how the food tasted, like the texture of the food and all of that, and been really descriptive with it. So those of us who are not eating could get a good idea of what it tastes like. But all that Chantal can say these days is yummy and fresh. Those are not really good descriptive words, Chantal. Let me, let me give you an idea of what you should be saying in your food vlogs. You know, this crepe is really delicious. There's different layers of the crepe layered with the cream and the cream is really soft in texture. It tastes chocolatey, but it's not too sweet. The chocolatey part, it's, it's not bitter. It's not syrupy sweet. It's just right in the middle. And the fruit adds just that little bit of sweetness. Uh, you know, get really descriptive. Since you are obviously going to be fixated on food, learn how to describe what you're eating properly. Take your time with describing it. You know, that's how you do that. That's how you do food vlogs. You know, I'm sure that Foodie, she was probably angry that Sala did not order another crepe and eat it, that he was sharing one with her. Although the size of that crepe, that'd be good for like four or five people. Seriously. I mean, it fills up an entire plate. Who needs that much? That's crazy. <laughs> it's entirely too big. But she's probably mad that he didn't just give that entire crepe to her and let her go to town on it. And you know, the way she's acting right now with her eating, I'm getting a bit of a flashback. And some of you who've been watching Foodie for a long time, you're going to remember this moment. Remember when Foodie was going to the trap house and Natter made this cheesecake type dessert with fruit on top. I think it was mango. I could be wrong. 
but he, he, it was a night where they had like the pita pizza and then they had this cheesecake type dessert and Natter only got a little bit of it because Foodie ate the rest and she had like one final slice on her plate in front of the camera and Natter wanted a little bit, you know, like he made it and she was eating all of it and he just took a little bit off of her fork and she freaked out and she grabbed the last remaining piece on her plate and shoved it in her mouth just so he couldn't have it. I, I'm getting flashbacks of that moment watching her because foodie is very food aggressive. I've seen different videos with her and Pete's where they order food and she'll have an entire spread of food in front of her. And then Pete's will order something. And even though she's got an entire spread of food in front of her, she's looking over at Pete's food like, you're going to give me that too? Very food aggressive. I don't know why she's so aggressive with food. I don't know why she feels she has to own all the food in front of her when clearly she has enough. But she's not happy sharing this crepe with Sala. She wanted it all to herself. And Sala's like, nope, we're sharing it. So what she's doing since she has to share is she's taking the biggest bites imaginable to get as much as possible before he gets a few bites. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I was kind of in a bad mood because I don't like malls. We both don't like malls, but then I had chocolate and now I feel better. This mall. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute, please. Okay. Foodie? I'm not trying to be rude, but what's going on with your bottom lip? I know that you're not able to smoke over in Kuwait, so it can't be a burn. What's going on with your bottom lip over here? You know what I think? I think you're having a maybe, perhaps, I could be wrong, but it looks like a bit of an outbreak maybe due to stress or climate change, you know, going from one area to another, but you're breaking out again, girl. You are, and it looks painful. Because I don't like malls. We both don't like malls, but then I had chocolate and now I feel better. This mall is huge. We have like an hour and a half before the movie, so we're just gonna show you some stores. Oh, foodie dog on it. You know what? I'm zipping past that. Sorry. I apologize to anybody who might have been in the video. My apologies. Foodie. There were people on the escalator. There were children. Use your doggone blur tool next time when that happens. Thank you. The North Face. First time I'm here about this. Why do you need this here? It's hot here. Yeah, this is my. So, like, they're. They're walking past all of these clothing stores. Foodie don't want to go in and she doesn't want to shop. She doesn't want to show us the clothes. I'm confused. When she went shopping at Bennington's or whatever, she went in and she looked around for clothes, but here she is in Kuwait and she doesn't want to look at the clothes. I mean, that would have been an interesting element of this vlog, seeing all the different clothes, all the different shops. But the only thing she wants to focus on is a doggone food. <laughs> Super dry? <laughs> Super dry. Most of my food is from this shop. It's a Japanese style. Super dry. Nice. Bath and body work. You know what? Again, I was watching Eerie's stream and she said something that I absolutely agree with. That this mall visit, notice the timing of it. It's right after Foodie Beauty's payday. Today would be her payday. She'd get all of her money from YouTube. So isn't it funny that the last vlogs that we've seen of these two, they weren't going to the mall. It was only after she got paid that they're going to the mall. So, Sala. Did you bring Foodie to the mall because 
you were pointing out to her what you wanted her to buy you because that's what it looks like you're walking her past stores and you're letting her know what clothes you wear and what stores you get your clothes from and then later on you stop at a music store to look at a new keyboard are you basically letting her know what you want her to buy you why do i have a feeling is it going to be a little shopping trip for solid in the near future Thanks. I see Christmas things. This Papa Boom is like uh, Debenhams or Sephora. Oh, it's like Sephora. Yeah. This is about a mix of uh, my brand of uh, makeup and perfumes and uh, ATC. <laughs> no. Not Foodie over there acting like she don't know what NYX is and she wears makeup. I'm sure she knows. So she's just trying to play dumb in front of Sala. Nice. Yeah, like Sephora. Or Ulta. Yeah, here we go, Sephora. Oh, there's a Sephora here. Wow. You know, she's at the mall and she's saying, oh, Sephora's over there and Nyx is over there and this is over there and that's over there. But she's not stopping in any place unless it involves food. Why not walk over to the Sephora and look at the makeup foodie? Why not walk in any place that has nothing to do with food and show us what shopping in Kuwait is like? You're at the doggone mall. You've been talking about the mall even before your trip. Oh, I can't wait to go to the mall. Okay, you're at the mall. Now what? Nice. And <laughs> look what her camera focuses on five guys like i said i watching eerie the live stream over there and seeing foodie just deadlocked on all the food i, I was just shaking my head the whole stream going you gotta be joking You've got to be joking. This mall visit, it wasn't a mall visit. It was a food tour of all the places that she wanted to eat, but Sala wouldn't let her eat. <laughs> you know, if Sala was not there, she would be dining at every single one of those places. And she would just be going to town on the food. Promise you that. She would. And maybe she was... She, basically showing off all the fast food places because she was trying to send kind of a subliminal message to Sala. I want to eat here. You know what, Chantal? Sala don't care. You're just not getting it through your head that your obsessions and your fixations are not everybody else's obsessions and fixations. Your love and obsession for food is not an obsession that everybody shares with you. You may find food fascinating. Your whole life may revolve around it, but everybody else is like, we're bored with this already. Change the channel, change the record. Let me put it to you in another way that you can understand. Imagine for a moment, let's just say you had a friend or even a relative that they were, were as obsessed with coffee tables as you are with food. Just absolutely obsessed with coffee tables. Any coffee tables. They just had a passion for them. And every time you got around them, they were talking about coffee tables. For hours on end, for weeks on end. Every time you're around them, hey, let's go to a furniture store. I really want to check out coffee tables and they dragged you along. Look at this coffee table. Look at that coffee table. Isn't this coffee table awesome? It's so fresh. Imagine that. Imagine being around someone like that 24 seven for weeks, that all the fuck they talked about was coffee tables and wanting to get more coffee tables and different colors and styles of coffee tables. And oh, that coffee table is so yummy. Wouldn't you want to like tear your hair out after a little while? Wouldn't you get sick of them? Yeah. It's like that. Same vibes. Your obsession with food. Everybody else is 
over it. Over it. So if you over there, if you would not be able to deal with somebody and their obsessions, then understand that we don't care about your obsessions. We are not as invested in food as you are. And the, the sad thing is, is that you're not invested in all food. You're just invested in fast food, which makes it even more boring. Guys. Here's the movie theater. This is what we're going to see. Pray for the devil. What are you doing? You know, foodie, you've been on YouTube for six years, right? Four or five years, something like that. You've had your channel for a long time. Why do your camera angles suck? You, you don't. You can't even get good shots. You film things that have no context and then splice them with other things that have nothing to do with the first segment. You know, you just show things that like, th there's, there's no reason to show them. Camera angles, foodie. You should take up photography. Let's just see all this beside each other. Oh, and they're all telecom companies, right? Drums. Mm -hmm. Yamaha. Well, I love this place. Yes, you would, eh? Oh, look at. Oh. Does that make noise? Let's have a look from inside. Oh, 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 look at that. So they're in the mall, and of all the places that Sala and Chantal have walked past, he wants to walk in the music store. He's like, let's have a look inside. Sala, Sala, I've been married twice. Both of my ex-husbands were musicians, guitar players. And music stores of them were like amusement parks, playgrounds, if you will. And if a musician walks into a music store, it's because they want to buy something. <laughs> they want you know that they're they're looking at all the instruments and everything because they want to buy something you know like it's just it's just natural if you're a musician you're attracted to music and musical instruments you know like you it's you know different things you know appeal to different people if you're a book nerd you're gonna love bookstores if you are someone that you love cars you're gonna go to car shows you're allegedly into music although you don't know how to play it you suck at playing but you're like oh let's go in the music store you know what you're doing smooth operator you are hey let's go in the music store because you want a new keyboard don't you look i know the game i know the game you know you are subliminally in a subliminal way telling chantal i i i want a new keyboard you're purposely going to show her the keyboards because you're going to persuade her to get you one, aren't you? We're going to see a new keyboard for you in the future. Oh, I thought it would make noise. Darn. This is a nice piano. Wow. Yeah, don't touch the piano, Chantal. <laughs> it's a beautiful baby grand. Don't touch it. See, look at him. Look at him. Smooth he is. He could have looked at anything else in the store. He went straight for the keyboards. Why are you over there, Sala? You already have a keyboard. What are you over there looking at the keyboards for? If you have an instrument already and you're walking in a music store looking at instruments of the same like, it's because you want another one. And she just got paid. So maybe that's what he wants. He wants a new keyboard from Chantal. And why do I also have a feeling that he's also going to get her to buy him some new clothes too? That's why he was showing her the clothes store 
and what clothes he bought and where. So a gaming store, maybe like Best Buy or GameStop. Oh, I want to see the video games. I'm sorry, the, the, the gamer me just popped out for a minute. <laughs> I'm a gamer geek, sorry. Walking past a video game store, I'm like, I want to go in. <laughs> you know, that surprises me. Saul is a big gamer dude. Why didn't he go in that store? Why didn't they go in? He loves to play video games and they just walk past it. Blasphemy. Burger Hmm. I am myself one. Very fancy restaurants. <laughs> Yeah, see, see right there, Chantal. So there's all the fast food places in the mall. Why couldn't you eat dinner here? I'm sure they have a healthy dish or two on the menu. You could have eaten something healthy here. I'm sure it wouldn't have been cheap. It doesn't look like a cheap place. But if you're trying to get in shape or you're trying to lose weight, Spending money on quality food is worth it in the long run. Because you either pay now or you pay later. Copper chimney. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> There's TGI Fridays. See, like she keeps pointing out all of the fast food joints. Oh, look, there's a Starbucks. Oh, there's TGI Fridays. Okay, so there's a TGA Fridays there. Big deal. You're at the mall. You do some shopping. You just got paid. Don't worry about the food. She's not even trying to not fixate on the food, which is why I say when she comes back from Canada, she's going to have the mother of all binges. I'm not wishing that upon her. I would not wish that upon anybody. Okay. I would not wish any addiction on anyone. Addictions suck. But I'm just saying what's going to happen. And I'm saying that based on watching her, listening to her. She doesn't have any sort of self-control. She's not trying to have self-control. She's not trying to keep herself away from temptation. When she sees temptation, she's like a moth to the flame and she goes straight into the fire. She's not even trying to fly away. I mean, every vlog that her and Sala do, she gives a temptation. She will give in a temptation. And Sala, I don't know what you think you're doing giving her diet cokes it doesn't make sense sir it really does not make sense to sit there and give her a diet coke make her drink diet coke all day and then sit down with her with a crepe the size of an airplane and have her eat it that doesn't make sense at all explain it to me here drink diet coke all day but i'll give you a crepe the size of an airplane to eat that's loaded with calories that you don't need and but yet i expect you to lose weight pick a lane sala oh and shake shack we have to come back here turkish yum baklava tgi fridays we're gonna come back here and here too i'm gonna eat all the food Okay, one no-no if you're a food addict. Everybody knows the rule. What's the rule, y'all? The rule is if you go to the grocery store, say it with me, don't do it while you're hungry. Why? Because you will buy much more than you need at the grocery store if you do that. If you're going to go buy groceries, eat something first, because if you go to the grocery store, your stomach is going to make all the decisions for you and you'll buy a whole bunch of junk food. In Chantal's case, her and Sala are going to see a movie. This woman, she cannot stop herself from eating. 
you know, she might take five minute breaks, but she's used to eating all day. So she's at the mall with Sala and it's like an hour plus before the movie and she's hungry. You know, she can't just graze all day, all night long, but she's walking around, walking around. She's hungry. <laughs> okay. And then there's going to be the movie and then they're going to have dinner. What they should have done is to have dinner before going to see the movie. That would have made more sense. You know, eat first, and that way when she's going to go to the mall, and her stomach's going to be full, and she's not going to be craving all this other crap. But he took her to the mall hungry, and he, she's walking past all these places and going, I want this, and I want that. Yeah, because you're hungry. You want all the nonsense foods, all the temptation foods. Yeah. Here's the menu. Veal bacon. The famous kids store. Mother Care. We don't have that. North America. Some kind of sweets. Every time she sees some place that revolves around food, she's got to slow down. Oh, look at that. Another fast food joint. I wonder what it is. Sala, can we stop and get something? No, keep walking. <laughs> ah, nice. Is this Foodie, that is so rude. It's an arcade. That is so rude. Filming a mother and her child, that is so rude. Blur tool, madam, learn how to use it. Let's play. You challenge me? <laughs> yeah, I challenge you to arcade. <laughs> Zombie. Let me work it. Babe, you challenge a gamer? <laughs> you challenge a gamer. Oh, cool. It's a whole car. My favorite Crocs. Croc store. Hold on a minute. I want to go back to something. Hold up. I I'm, I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to go back. Oh, cool. Okay. This is not me fat shaming Chantal. Just pointing something out. Foodie does not like mirrors of any kind she doesn't want to see her reflection as part of the reason why she hates the reaction channels because we are all mirrors for her if she acts up if she acts the fool she acts inappropriate she does something offensive we are right there to record her and put it on the internet for the world to see so the rest of the world knows who she is and what she is and here she is walking past the display. And here's a mirror right here, Fody. Look at your reflection in the mirror. Why don't you look? It's a whole car. My favorite. And <laughs> that reflection is, is the real you. Crocs. Croc store. Oh my gosh. I need to come back for these. No. I've been watching Foodie for a long time. I've never seen her wear a pair of Crocs, ever. She likes the flat shoes. I've never seen her wear Crocs, ever. And here's where you can buy pizza, hot dogs, nachos, popcorn, chips. <laughs> Girlfriend, you just had a huge crepe. That should have filled you up. That really should have filled you up. And on top of the crepe, you're going to have stuff from the concession stand. And then after you're done with the movie, you're going to eat again with dinner. Slow down with your eating. Chips, candy, drinks for the movie. You can get salty or sweet uh, caramel. Good. Our drinks and our popcorn. 
Look at that small popcorn. You know she's mad. You know she's mad. And she's got to share that with Sala. That little tiny popcorn. And we've seen Foodie eat an entire bag of chips in no time flat and then grab another bag right behind that. Did you get sweet or salty? Uh, salty. Salty. Okay. We're going to share. Mirinda. Mirinda's like orange Fanta here. It's called Mirinda. And you know, I have to wonder if with Salo wanting to share food with Chantal, if he's doing it on purpose for two reasons. One, to control her portions. Two, just to spite her. I wonder if he's doing it just to spite her. Because he knows how much of a glutton she is. And the fact that he's making her share her food when she doesn't want to is pissing her off. Maybe he might be doing it for that reason because he just delights in making her angry. <laughs> Pepsi diet. Ice. For you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are so excited to uh, watch the movie. Okay, ready? Let's go. Yellow. And let the show begin. Let's go. Some comfortable seating here while you wait for your feature film to start. IMAX. All right. I'm going to have to hold my dress. Thank you. Welcome, baby. And there's that horrible music again. Sorry, I didn't catch it in time. Sorry. Oh, wait. Back. <laughs> That's a good freeze frame. Look at her. She's just so happy. I'm sitting next to Sala. She's practically on top of him. Girl, give him some room to breathe. And she, can I just say, again, not fat shaming, she looks really uncomfortable in that seat. Like it's a little bit too small for her. Like she is not comfortable. Okay, I'm not, I'm not turning the video back on until I see some people. Okay, listen, from a couple's vlog situation, okay, stop, stop, Sala. From a vlogger content creator standpoint, Chantal, why do we need to see Sala getting a soda? How is that riveting content? You could have left that part out. Seriously, you could have. It's not that interesting. <laughs> How about you, honey? I want lots of ice, please. I'll tell you when. Keep it coming. No, more, more, more ice. More? Yeah, please. Uh, I, I want Miranda, please. I had enough Diet Pepsi to last me a lifetime tonight. <laughs> Shukran. You know, that was her way of saying, dude, I am sick of Diet Pepsi. I am sick of having you, uh, having you drink, have me drink Diet Pepsi. That 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 was a, that was a hint for her to him. Um, I am sick of the Diet Pepsi. Stop shoving it down my throat. I can't stand it. Cut it out. <laughs> I, like I said, I I don't understand the thinking of him going at her with the Diet Pepsi. If they're going to eat like this while they're drinking the Diet Pepsi. And if they're going to eat a huge crepe the size of, you know, a state. I don't get it. Like, how is that helping Sala? What's that Diet Pepsi going to do if she's see, sitting there eating a 5,000 calorie crepe? Explain that to me. Doggone it, man. There's too much music. Urgh. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, this is the funny part. This is funny. This is funny. All right. So what do we see between the buns? Chicken. How many people think that Chantal was happy with that chicken sandwich? She wasn't happy. You know she hated it. You know she hated it because she was in the mall all day looking at Applebee's and Starbucks and dessert places and burger places. And what did they get? A chicken sandwich. Or as I like to call it, an idiot sandwich, which is appropriate because she's an idiot. There's your idiot sandwich, Chantal. Enjoy. Man, don't uh, Sorry about that, man. Too much music. I'm trying to catch this part. Hold on. Wait a minute. Do we have to go in slow mo? Okay. This part right here of her lip. I don't know what's going on with you and Kuwait, Chantal, but that looks like a stress breakout. Like you're stressing out and it's coming out bad. That must hurt. Y'all see it? It's clear as day. She, she cut away from that real quick because she was trying to hide it. Let's see. Let, uh, sorry. I'm just, the pointer's not wanting to work with me. Let's see if I can slow it down a bit so I can catch it. Y'all give me just a second. Sorry. I am so sorry. So there's the idiot sandwich for the idiot. <laughs> it looks so dry and, and disgusting. It does. And we're turning off the sound because we don't need to hear the bad music. There's the fries. And can I just say this before we show that part? This is fast food. How is fast food something that would make a couple's vlog interesting? It really isn't. Anybody could eat fast food. I don't know why she insists on eating this cheap, junky food for her vlogs. And she thinks, what does she think the audience is going to say? Wow. Wow. You're eating fast food. Oh, my God. That's so life changing. Anthony Bourdain, you are not. That's for sure. Y'all to watch Anthony Bourdain, Chantal, and get some tips. He he was hilarious. Rest in peace, Anthony Bourdain. You, you, you are amazing, sir. You were entertaining. You were funny. You were sarcastic. You were real. And you gave respect to the people wherever you went. You talked about the culture. Loved Anthony. Okay, so there's Chantal. And I wanted to slow it down because some might say that that area on her lip is like something with her filters. Nah, no, it ain't. That's, that's, look at the discoloration. That's a bad breakout, Chantal. Bad. Okay, now we can speed it back up. That looks like that sandwich looks dry. Okay, now we can turn the song back on. All right, guys, we're gonna end the video here. I'm super tired from walking all day. That was a huge mall. You didn't walk all day though. You walked for what an hour and a half? Because you got to the mall and you said we have like an hour, hour and a half before the movie starts. So what do you mean all day? When I think all day, Chantal, I'm. I think like four to six hours. That wasn't all day. That wasn't all day. That was like an hour. But it was such a wonderful day. This is my first time trying Hardee's and I have to say it was so fresh. Like, <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> Everything is fresh to her. 
it was so fresh. Everything is so fresh. It's so yummy. I don't know if you're trying to marry food vlogging with couple vlogging, Chantal. But can I just say this as an observer? You suck at both. You suck when it comes to the couple vlogging thing because you and Salah just don't have any energy between you. And you suck at describing food. You don't know how to describe food properly to where it's appealing to other people. And you're not even eating food that anybody else would be envious to eat. Do you understand? You're not, you're not really reaching for interesting content. It's and going to fast food restaurants does not make you a food vlogger. Anybody could go to a Hardee's. Anybody could go to a Mickey D's or a Burger King or any place like that. So the food that you eat from those places really isn't that special. And yet that seems to be the only thing you want. You don't want foods that are not perhaps native to Canada. Food in other countries, food from other cultures. You're not willing to open up and try something new, something unexpected. So if you're trying to pull in the food with your couple vlog thing, they, they both suck. I know I say that a lot, but the fast food here, it's like almost made to order or something. The fries were really delicious. And crunchy. <laughs> and crunchy. <laughs> they were so good. Yeah, there wasn't much open by, at, at that hour. So um, the movie was pretty creepy. I would say I would give it a 7 out of 10. What about you? I would say a 6 out of 10. Yeah, you liked it a little less than I did. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was good overall. So anyway. Um... Well, I'm sure he didn't like the movie because he was there with you. You know, he, he, he had to deal with you at the mall all day. Stopping every two steps to stop at a food place, bugging him about food. And then you probably munching and crunching and, and making all kinds of noises while he's trying to watch the movie. I'm sure he was not liking it. I'm sure it had a lot to do more with do with the company than the actual movie. Um, we're going to end the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Masalama, guys. Okay, so that's it for the couple vlog. Hope you guys have enjoyed this react. If you have, please like and subscribe and please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.